Battling TV is brought to you by Old Town and the new Camden family of recreational kayaks. Affordable, but loaded with a richness of features not found on most rec kayaks. Check out the new Camden kayaks at OldTownCanoe.com. The three golden rules are a set of rules that, when followed, will let you paddle the most efficiently, comfortably, and safely. You need to let your upper and lower bodies work cooperatively but independently from each other. You need to maintain a power position with your arms. And you need to use the power of torso rotation for all your strokes. Letting your upper and lower bodies work cooperatively but independently from each other means that while your upper body is performing one task, your lower body can be performing a totally separate one. This separation comes from the hips and it requires that they stay loose and relaxed. With loose hips, you can keep your head and body balanced over the kayak while your boat goes with the flow. Kayaking is a very safe sport, but unfortunately, injuries can still happen. The most common injuries are minor ones, like blisters and tendonitis. But the shoulder dislocation is a serious injury that you need to be conscious of, especially if you're going to get into more dynamic types of kayaking. One of the best ways to prevent it from happening is by maintaining a power position with your arms. The power position simply involves keeping your hands in front of your body. In other words, your arms, chest, and paddle form a box, and you should maintain that box when you take any type of stroke. For example, when I'm taking something called a back sweep, which involves planting a paddle blade at the back of the boat, I'll rotate my whole upper body to maintain that box. This doesn't mean that you can't reach to the back of your boat to take a stroke. It just means that in order to do so, you'll need to rotate your whole upper body so that your hand stays in front of you. This act of rotating the upper body is fittingly named torso rotation. Not only does it keep your shoulders safe, but it also allows you to harness the most power from your strokes. Your paddle strokes should use much more than just your arm and shoulder muscles. By using the power of your whole upper body, you'll be able to paddle more efficiently, and it's through torso rotation that you do this. Torso rotation involves twisting at the waist as you take a stroke so that you're not just pulling with your arms. And we're soon going to take a look at how that's applied to specific strokes. As with any sport, posture plays an important role in paddling performance. Although many kayaks have seats that double as great lounge chairs, you shouldn't be taking advantage of them when you're actively paddling. Think of your kayak seat as a good high-backed office chair. You wouldn't lean right back into an office chair while working away at the computer because it's not comfortable and it would probably lead to wrist and back problems. Instead, you'd sit up straight to work and then lean back and relax when it's time to take a break. The same goes for kayaking. 